Hi everybody, this is Argon Matrix. Welcome to episode 80. Oh my god, wow. A legend is all awkward enough time. Uh, yeah, I am upbeat. Because I just am. We're gonna free this guy. Thanks, boy. You're fantastic. I'm Saburu the Carpenter. Have you seen our boss, boy? He's probably worried about me. I have to get back to him immediately. 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 One more of our workers is still a prisoner. Please save him. And he's just gonna jaunt her off like that. Oh, do 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 do. I'm just gonna wander off here. So let's just go the way that we didn't come. He's just like wandering out, cause that that path that he took it doesn't it, like lead out to the, like the grounds in front of the castle or something, or in front of the fortress rather. I I if that it might just be me, but that doesn't seem like the safest place to escape to. Of course I did pretty much just kill all the guards that were out there, so yeah. Uh, I've already been here, man. Is there anywhere else I can go? Please. Don't suppose I can, like, jump somewhere or something? Doesn't look like it. Oh, how unfortunate. Oh, well. Let's just go in here, I guess. Whatever. I'm not in a big rush. Uh, let's go back there. Why not? Back to where we first came into this room from. Remember that? I didn't even hit her. Wow. Jeez. She's just scared by the air or something like whizzing by her leg. Like, what the hell? I could have, like, thrown a rock at you and missed completely and you would have been like, oh my god. Faint. I think, screw a rock. I could have thrown a cotton ball at you. Oh, what's up here? Nothing, looks like. So we're just gonna. Keep on wandering. Oh my god. I, have I been here? I don't know. We're going to find out though. Um, if I remember, there is a Gerudo here. Come on. I know you're there. you go. Right through the head too. Ouch. Okay, let's just keep wandering. I think I've actually stumbled upon... Yeah, this is this is the one that I normally come across very... The first one. Like, I don't know why I took, why I took such a obtuse path to get to this guy, but whatever, I found all four of them. I'm not going to complain. It took longer than I would have liked. More than a video, practically. Well, actually, no, because it took a while to get here in the first place, but whatever. Alright, let's... Yes. Why do, you, why do all of you have identical text? It doesn't even make sense. Alright, get over here. Please. Just don't do that. I just need to kill you. Is that so much to ask? You can just, like, jump away Matrix style and everything. So, technically I'm not even killing you, I guess. If you can jump. Alright, just let me hit you one more time. There we go. Thank you. Now die. How do they jump so high anyways? They're like freaking Mario. Jumping up high through the roof everywhere. Whatever. Let's free you and your flailing arms. I was afraid you were going to forget about me. Now I'm free. Now I'm free, free at last. For rescuing me, I'll tell you something interesting about the desert that I overheard the Ger Gerudo was talking about. Yeah, the last one will always uh, say something about this, and I'm not talking about the elf here either. Uh, they say, in order to cross the haunted wasteland, you'll need the Eye of Truth. The Colossus is on the far side of the wasteland. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my tent near Gerudo Valley, so drop by sometime. You may find something helpful there. Bye! And by something helpful, he means that they're going to rebuild the bridge that that one guy with the saw was too lazy to rebuild. And, oh, hello. Oh, I can't see your face, but I see your boobs. I've seen your fine work. You get past the guard. To get past the guards here, you must have good thieving skills. I used to think that all men besides the great Ganondorf were used to this, but now I've seen that you, now that I've seen you, I don't think so anymore. The exalted Naburu, our leader, put me in charge of this fortress. Naburu is the second in command of the great Ganondorf, king of the Gerudo Thieves. Her headquarters are, like, are in the spirit temple, which is at the end of the desert. Say, you must want to become one of us, eh? Alright then, you're in from now on. Take this, with it, you will have free access to all the areas of the fortress. And we got the awesome Ponage Gerudo's membership card. So now we can just wander around freely without having to knock anybody out with arrows or any of that crap. 
So let's just leave now. Go f do some stuff. Yep. Oh, sorry about that. What? Wait. 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 Her head is sparkling. What does that mean? Is that like stars? Supposed to be stars circling around her head or something? Who the freaking heck buckles? Fuck knows. And oh, looks like it's just about to be morning, maybe. Or does the moon not move at all in this place? I guess daytime just doesn't move at all. Where's my horse? I want to find my horse so we can travel across the desert together. Yes. All right. Um. Screw it. I'm just gonna call her the opponent's song. All right. How does that go again? That's how it goes. That's right. I did not forget. It's embedded into my brain after having played it so many times in my playthroughs of this game. How did you just appear there? You like, you weren't there a second ago, Epona. Damn you, and your clever fiendish trickery. But yeah, anyways, um, before we cross the desert, which is actually through that gate over there, by the way, and go to see Niburu, I guess, in the Spirit Temple, um. We are going to have some fun with Epona around here. Because there is something fun you can do with Epona. Well, I wouldn't call it fun exactly. But it is very useful, I suppose. Especially if you're going for 100% like me. Like me. Anyways, here we have the Gerudo Archery Ground. And looks like it's not open during the daytime. God damn it. Well, we'll just leave Epona here and play the sun song. I had like really, for some reason I had just now, I had difficulty playing that song. I was like, I was like twitching around. I was like, like I was paralyzed and like having a seizure at the same time or something. Anyways, oh yes, and this is the awesome music that I deprived you of by coming here at night. I'm sorry. Whatever. Let's just wander up here. Hopefully Epona stayed the night without getting slaughtered for her meat or her milk. Or whatever you slaughter a horse for. Maybe you don't slaughter a horse. Or maybe the Gerudos don't slaughter horses at least. Looks like she's a-okay and a lot oranger than that other horse. So anyways, let's talk to this person who seems to run the uh, archery place. Hey newcomer, you have a fine horse. I don't know where you stole it from, but oh yeah. Yes, we would have stolen it, wouldn't we? Technically, we did, but keep that quiet. Okay, how about challenging this horseback archery? Once the horse starts galloping, shoot the targets with your arrows. Let's see how many points you can score. You get 20 arrows. If you can score 1,000 points, I will give you something good. Do you want to try for 20 rupees? Yes, I do. And just to let you know right now, I'm very, very bad at this. So this might become like a blooper reel or something. like fail montage, I don't know, but I really suck at this, I don't know why, okay, I'm doing okay right now, I suppose, but, yeah, I don't normally get all those plots, maybe I'm just being lucky or something today, maybe I'm God, God's gift to Gruta Archery, I don't know, and I just haven't uncovered that yet, because I suck so much, look, this 890 points already, see, it's not hard to get 1,000 points, really, yeah, see, I, I already have 1,000 points, but, there's another thing you can get for 1,500 points, so that can be a lot harder. See, I, I got 1,320. It's not too bad, but... Yep, so for 1,000 points, we are going to get... I will give this to you. You can prove yourself. We are going to get a heart piece, the second last one in the game. Yep. And we're, and we have to, you have to get on your opponent every time you want to talk to her. But if you fail, then you stay on your opponent anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But anyways, should I, I should try for 1,500 points now. Now, this is where the outtake meat reel might start. Can I do this pot thing? Pot thing, ha. Huh. Oh my god, that was lucky. What a, oh, don't miss the pots. Don't miss the pot, Dude, I suck. Look at that. Look at how... That, oh, I hit two pots. You know what, fuck it. Let's just do this. Yeah. Boing, boing. Whatever. I don't even care. 390 points. Wahaha. <laughs> Screw the pots. Go to, go for the targets, man. Especially if I can get four 100s in a row. Look at that. 
Unfortunately, I still can't get 1,500. At least you won't laugh at me this time. That was just mean. I can hit you, opponent. I can hit you in the back of the head and kill you. Make sparkles come out of your head. I'm in a funk. I should just stop. Go eat some muffins or something. I'm gonna waste- watch as I waste all of my 500 rupees that I had on getting on this game. Technically I started this challenge of 1500 points with with 480, but 480 rupees, but does it really matter? No, it really doesn't. Freaking 1320. 132. That adds up to 6. 666. Six, six. Ah! Can I just like hop off the horse and go slash these with my sword? Please? That would be so much easier. Except maybe these targets, but whatever. Wow, that was lucky. Here we go. Here we go. We can do it. We can do it. Let's charge in. Roar. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. You can totally do it. Yes, 890. Look at you. You're on a roll, man. You're on a roll. Nobody ain't got nothing on you. Not even that Chucky Connor or Phil. You're the best now, Stunny. You can do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I could actually do it. I did it. Oh my god, 1630. 1630 be a zaches. I'll be darned, you are the ultimate master. I will give you an item suitable for the master. This quiver is very important to me. I want you to have it. Take good care of it, okay? And we get the biggest quiver. Dun da da da. Comes with a golden arrow and everything. That's right. We can now hold up to 50 arrows. Anyways, um, that took many, many tries. Well, not really. It took like six to get 1,500, seven tries of this game total. Anyways, uh, well, I'm at about 17 minutes here. I'm going to cut out some stuff. So thank you, everybody, for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing up. Thank you, and good night.